The next question up says, I'm curious as to how you would program for a push-pull meet. Uh, would you put the bench and deadlift as first priority and keep squat on maintenance? Uh, would you do less volume on the squat overall, etc.? Um, I would prioritize the deadlift. Um, so you would see that shift in your template. Uh, the deadlift is going to occur on higher priority days and so on. Uh, squat would be a lower priority um, movement. But that's pretty much where it would stop, at least on the short term. Uh, we would start looking at, you know, what weaknesses do we see in the deadlift in particular, and um, what do we need to do to train that. And if it becomes a requirement to sacrifice some of the squatting volume in order to, to target those deficiencies or something like that, then by all means we'll do that. But I typically don't see that as a problem. Usually we have very good deadlift responses to, uh, to these training pro protocols as a package, you know, uh, as squat and deadlift training together. And when we start pulling those things apart, then the system itself uh, responds in some kind of weird ways. So I, don't, I wouldn't do that right off the bat. I wouldn't reduce the squatting volume right off the bat. Uh, I would let that evolve and take shape over the course of several uh uh, training cycles, um, we would see how that develops for this particular athlete over time. Uh, but in the short term, I really wouldn't mess with a whole lot. Uh, again, I would focus on the deadlift. I would prioritize the deadlift. We're going to focus on uh, any perceived weaknesses in the deadlift, um, and we'll sacrifice squatting if we need to, but usually that's not the case.